Well, welcome back folks to the Wanneroo channel. So I hope everyone is uh, doing good out there. Things are going well for you. So we're now getting into fall. There's kind of uh, some of the uh, fading fall light coming in through the window right here. Temperatures are starting to drop. The weather is kind of changing. Uh, we've had kind of a weird uh, fall with um, a lot of rain and um, a lot of the foliage around here is still pretty green which for this time of the year is a bit unusual. But um, anyways, with the uh, the rain and stuff, been trying to get outside, do a lot of different things, and did a bunch of shooting last weekend and uh, and all that. So trying to, uh, and, and also I guess with as, as busy as everything has been for me in the past two months, um, trying to get videos in and get them up and all that. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can to get stuff out and uh and all that so uh definitely a lot on my plate right, right now so no shortage of things going on but anyways um this project here this is one of those things where i kind of wanted to finish something off so basically i have the hornaday progressive press which is set up for 45 acp right now and i had uh, had it set up for 45 I think went back well into last winter and I loaded up I don't know a couple thousand I think something I don't even know how many I did different different loads different stuff but anyways the press basically kind of sat there over the summer as I did other stuff as you do during the summertime that's kind of more your shooting season or other hobbies and stuff and then now, as we're getting closer into win uh, winter, I'm starting to look at basically, you know, what's coming up for reloading and th different things. And one of the things is that I was kind of uh, left with a bit of 45 ACP brass that I had already primed and resized. And, um, you know, it was one of those things where I can't even remember how it happened. The, the one thing is, is that this is small pistol primer. Uh, brass which I don't know why manufacturers did this I guess they did it because of cost or whatever but a <laughs> small pistol primer 45 ACP it's like come on folks you know so now a lot of times if you get mixed brass or you pick up brass at the range or whatever you always have to check your 45 brass and split out the large pistol from the small pistol and stuff and so mostly I've just never dealt with it and I think last year because I had more time with the uh, coronavirus and stuff i don't know i had ended up with like probably 250 pieces of this stuff i've already loaded a little bit of it and uh it was one of those things where it's like well it's sitting there i'll just go ahead and use it whatever and probably i'm stupid for doing it because then now you know every time i go and <laughs> you know sort out my 45 ACP stuff for reloading, I have to go and check all that again. And, you know, probably just another pain. And in the end, I should just put it in the recycling bucket or pass it on to somebody else. Um, you know, it's just another little thing that you have to deal with. And whenever you're trying to load thousands of rounds and stuff, you know, you want to kind of streamline your processes and all that. So, you know, I guess one thing I could do with this is just uh, what I'm kind of thinking is just basically get it loaded up and then, you know, at a, at a match where I'm pretty much going to lose my, lose all my brass anyways, just, uh, you know, send it on down range and then, you know, if someone else wants to pick it up and use it, they're more than welcome to. So anyways, uh, somehow I ended up with, I don't know, I don't even know how many pieces of that uh, is there, but... Um, I want to switch the press over to 9mm for the winter because I have about five to 6,000 9mm casings to load and do all sorts of different loads with that. So we'll probably do some videos on that this winter. But before I switch it out, the 45 stuff is still hooked up. I've got the brass here. Um, I got the bullets and it's basically kind of a deal of like, well, <laughs> I need to work out some load. Now, right now out there on the market, um, I don't know how it is where you are, but uh, I have no problem finding Hogden powder, okay? Um, I cannot find, I've, I've been around multiple states. I've been all over, I've been all, you know, I've been to big Cabela's. I've been to, you know, tiny little gun shops and everything in between and uh, looked all around. 
And I can find Hogden powder all over the place. So in the past couple months, I've picked up, you know, like a lot of times they'll have a two, two pound limit or whatever. And the prices have been fairly reasonable. It's mostly I've been paying like anywhere between 30 um, to $33, somewhere in there. It's not bad, I guess, considering where everything is right now. Um, you know, it's not ideal. Because I think it wasn't that long ago for a lot of that stuff, I was paying $23, $24 a pound maybe. Anyways, so you know, $30, $33 a pound. It's not too much of a ripoff or anything, but um, it just is what it is. Uh, so anyways, um, the Hogden stuff, I can find all that. I mean, um, there are certain powders I, you know, that you can't find all the time or whatever, but usually if I go in a gun shop, uh, in my part of the country, uh, there's Hogden something sitting on the shelf. Okay, so uh, one of the things I picked up as I was doing my shopping this summer was this CFE pistol. Now, CFE pistol, I don't know anything about. So <laughs> uh, it was something that, you know, I haven't really researched or kind of thought about or planned ahead for or anything like that. So if you guys know a lot about CFE Pistol or what your opinions are or your experiences are with it, uh, let me know. Um, I'd be, be happy to hear about it uh, without, without question because uh, I don't really know anything about it. Um, it. It was one of those things where basically I go in a gun shop or I think this happened twice and they didn't have, you know, huge amount on the shelf, just different Hogden powders, whatever. And I saw this CFE pistol, and I was like, well, I've never used that before. I might have heard people talk about it here and there, but I don't really know anything about it. And I know that the CFE, I think it's the 223 or something, that's popular with people. So I was like, okay, well, hey, I'll give it a try. Okay, so here we are, <laughs> you know. And so I think I've got uh, two, I know I have at least two pounds of this, maybe three. And, you know, as you know, if you have a pound of pistol powder, it, it usually goes, goes a long way. So um, that's the nice thing with pistol powder is, you know, have a pound of powder, you know, you can, you can make it last a while. So I figured, well, hey, let's do some stuff with 45 ACP and let's do some stuff maybe with 9 millimeter with it. And so um, anyways, the other day, uh, a lot of y'all had mentioned some of my other videos about the ninth edition of the Hornaday uh, book on reloading and so I went ahead and I got the 11th edition now and so um, and uh, the bullets we're going to be using also is this your standard uh, Hornaday uh, 230 grain full metal jacket bullet you know kind of your standard uh, 45 ACP bullet going back 100 years um, I like shooting them you know they've always been real good bullets for me Anyways, kind of peeking into their reloading manual here, and uh, they have CFE pistol listed. And it looks like we've got a starting charge of 5.2 grains, and going uh, 700 feet per second is what they have it listed for their data. Uh, going up to, uh, let's see here, 6.9 grains, that's the max load at 900 feet per second. So. Usually with 45 ACP, if I'm kind of, uh, you know, around 825 or so um, for just standard target shooting stuff, maybe 850, I think that's probably good enough for me. I don't really think I need to push it to 900. I guess you can if you want. I, I have loaded some 45 ACP stuff um, with power pistol where I've kind of pushed out um, the speeds a bit with that, but... I think for this, this would be kind of more of, um, you know, just a, uh, just kind of a target load. Again, I don't have much of this brass. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking probably we're going to be between 6 to 6.4 grains. That seems to be the thing. So that's probably what we'll, we'll end up aiming for. But um, anyways, so yeah, I haven't used this before, so... I think in the next video, what we'll do is uh, we'll go up to the press and um, we'll get this brass loaded up. I'll figure out what my starting charge is going to be for this and then uh, load some up, take it up and uh, chronograph it and uh, shoot it. 
and uh, maybe put a few rounds on paper and see what we get. And then, uh, like I said, we don't have a whole whole lot of brass here, but um, that'll finish it out for 45 ACP for the year, and then we can switch that press over to 9 millimeter. And uh, I really, <laughs> really have uh, plenty of 9 millimeter to do, so probably this winter we're going to be doing different loads with that. So, anyways, it probably won't be a long video series. I know the last one with uh, 300 blackout, we did four videos with that. Um, so with this, we'll probably just do um, one more video and combine the bench and the range all together and try to keep it fairly short um, <clears throat> and not, not go into too much depth with this. But, um, you know, we'll do what we need to do with it until we get it done and uh, see how the CFE pistol actually works. And, uh, you know, so I'm kind of curious to see how it performs. Uh, also, I know that uh, one of the gun stores I got it from, they have plenty still sitting on their shelf. So if I like it, I can go back and get another one or two um, just, just to have them on hand. You know how things are these days with Biden inflation. So, you know, with all that going on, um, sometimes it's better to buy now <laughs> instead of waiting uh, another year or two and watching the prices go up 50%. Anyway, so um, that'll do it for now. And uh, look forward to the next video and kind of wrapping up these 45s. And uh, also, like I said, if you guys are familiar with CFE Pistol, uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think of it and uh, what your take is on CFE Pistol and, and all that. I'd be interested to hear about it. All right, y'all have a good one and uh, stay tuned for uh, some upcoming videos. Thanks.